Hi, I'm Anna Licanio, and I'm the World Bank Online Editor for Southeast Asia. Last week, people sent us questions through Facebook, Twitter, and the World Bank blog asking about jobs and education. With us today at the Thailand Creative and Design Center is Mr. Lars Ondergaard, a World Bank Education Specialist. Thank you, thank you for joining us, Lars. My pleasure. So we have several interesting questions from around the world. From Brazil, Gustavo asks, what kinds of skills and experiences are considered valuable in today's job market? Well, the, the answer varies, of course, industry by industry and country by country, region by region. Um, but um, a, a, a general answer to it is that um, employers are increasingly looking for a broad skill set in their, in their employees. And, and this means um, uh, critical thinking, analytical reasoning, um, and life skills. In Thailand, we did a survey uh, of Thai firms and asked what are the key skills you are having a hard time finding in potential employees. And the number one skill that they were having a hard time finding was English language skills. This is somehow related to the second question from Kirsten in Singapore. She asks about academic skills versus life skills. She asks, our education system is very academic centric. How can we compete with graduates from other countries who may not come from universities that are as strong academically, but who produce graduates with skills that make them stand out? Well, I think the lesson for, for, for everyone in, in, in university is that um, given that firms are looking for, for this broad set of skills, to make sure that that journey through, um, through university um, you as a student take responsibility for, for building um, more than just academic skills um, and so that means making sure that that outside of the classroom whether on an internship or on uh, some campus activity um, uh, volunteering on the sports field uh, with your church you are, are building some of these uh, life skills that that you can then demonstrate to, to potential employers that, that you have. From China, how can graduates from non-famous universities compete with those that graduated from well-recognized schools? I like this question a lot because it, it, it points out one of the things that, that I think need to change in, in, in university uh, across the world, and that is the name on your diploma um, matters a lot more than um, you being able to demonstrate that during that process of acquiring that diploma, you are now mastering a certain skill set. And um, how can fresh graduates who have no working experience know that the jobs they are looking for are a good fit? I think the, the lesson for, uh, for everyone who has just graduated or about to graduate is that the, the work place uh, or work life that they are facing is a very different one than, than our grandparents they, they faced. Uh, in the sense that, that the first job um, is, is likely not to be the, the job you will stay in your entire career. Most of us will be moving from firm or employer to employer, maybe even change careers several times in our, in our lives. And, and the important thing, I think, is, is not to look for the perfect fit in that first job, but rather to make sure that, um, that, that the, the process of graduating is, is not an abrupt stop uh, to acquiring skills, but that you quickly get involved in some activity that keeps building uh, your skill sets. We still have many questions, but unfortunately, only time for one more. There has been a surge in university enrollment in some countries. Should we put more people into college only to see them jobless after graduation? It's true. In, in, enrollment in higher education has uh, gone up in almost all countries around the world, and in some instances, 
doubled or tripled or even quadrupled over 10, 20 years. But in most places, it is still the case that completing a university education is a very good investment from the individual's perspective, meaning the likelihood that you will find a job and the likelihood that you will make um, more than you would have otherwise uh, is still much higher. Um, now, this may not be the case uh, forever, as more and more people they, they graduate, um, th this may change, but, but in, it is still the case that completing university is a, is a very good investment from the individual's perspective. Thank you for your insights, Lars. Lars will answer the rest of your questions through the World Bank blog. Thank you very much for watching World Bank Live.